All right, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, we're playing some more Diablo 1 Hellfire on the PC. And in this video, we're going to be going through levels 7 and 8 of the catacombs here. And that will conclude the catacombs area. So, let's head down to level 7 now. So on this level, we're going to be getting the Halls of the Blind quest. And on level 8, we may potentially get a quest called Zar the Mad, but we'll see. We may or may not get that quest. It's actually quite a rare quest. I haven't got that quest too often myself on previous playthroughs. So let's tear it up here. And already... Getting fucked up by these archers. Haven't even cast Mana Shield yet. Or Reflect. Haven't even got set up. What is going on? Let me get that sorted first. Reflect. Search. Okay, now we're in good shape. Probably could have done without mana shield here because I now have this staff of healing but that's okay I'm hoping that I'll get the book of mana shield pretty soon lots of bats here so I mean I could easily just take care of these goat men whatever they're called with a projectile spell like fireball or something but if you can, as the monk, try and conserve your mana. Don't use it if you don't have to. Ooh, we have a shrine here. Creepy shrine. Let me just quickly check what that shrine does, guys. Okay, so this is a really good one. This one will give me plus two to strength. I sort of had a feeling this was going to be a good one. Strength is bolstered by... Heavenly Faith. Yep, 27 strength now, that's good. Well, it's actually 29, because it's being boosted a bit. Shit, quite a few archers here. So these archers aren't actually too bad, because they do... That must just be my dexterity, I've got quite a bit of dexterity. I'm hitting him straight away. 87% chance to hit. Not bad, but we've still got to get it up there. Crappy cloak, I don't want that. Gotcha. This looks like it may be a dead end up here. Goat shrine in here? No, just lots of goat arch as well. <laughs> that was good. And a dead body. Nothing interesting there. So the halls of the blind quest, to activate that you have to read a tome down here on level 7. And once you do, then you will have access to the area where the Halls of the Blind is. It's just a very short quest, and your reward is an amulet. The Optic Amulet. It's not great, but... Yeah, we'll see how it goes, compared to what I've got on now. Okay, that looks like the tome already. Great, just as I spoke about it. Mana potion. Very helpful. Okay, I'll just pick up all this gold and we will have a read now of the. Okay, we've got some enemies first. <laughs> Take care of them. Alright, now. 
we will read the Book of the Blind tome. I can see what you see not. Vision milky, then eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone, whispering their hidden song. Then you see what cannot be. Shadows move where light should be. Out of darkness, out of mind, cast down into the halls of the blind. So there you go. Now, if I press Q to bring up my quests, I have the Halls of the Blind quest. So if you don't read that tome, then you can't gain access to where the Halls of the Blind is. Okay, so you have to read that tome first. And that's a pretty nice little poem there. I quite like that. Vision milky, then eyes rot. That's great. This game has such character, you know, charisma. It's fantastic. Another dead end down there. And funnily enough, the Halls of the Blind area contains a lot of those unseen enemies, you know, the ones that disappear and then sort of reappear right next to you. Those red, these guys here, but the yellow versions, the ones that disappear and run off, very annoying. Potion of healing, yeah, might as well take it. And no more chests. Look at all those arrows, and I just don't care. Look at this, I'm just going to stand here. Look at that. Monk, you are brilliant. Your dexterity is astonishing. Now these archers that keep running off like this, they're going to pose a bit of trouble on the higher difficulties like Nightmare and Hell. You're going to have to stone curse them or use some sort of projectile spell like lightning or something like that. Lightning's actually a pretty good spell to have initially here. And I actually found myself using lightning quite a bit even on Nightmare and Hell. So it is a pretty good spell to get and learn. Because you sort of want to have a lightning spell, a fire spell and a magic spell. Oh, there's those hidden sort of enemies, the yellow ones that, that disappear. Yeah, they'll be they'll be rampant in the halls of the blind, those enemies. They're just a pain in the ass, aren't they? Look at them. Look how many there are. They just keep appearing right next to you. I'm just going to stand here until they're all dead. Gotcha. Is that it? Okay. There's down to level 8. We don't need to go there just yet. We have to clear out level 7 here first. Yeah, so you sort of want to get a magic spell, a lightning spell, and a fire spell. Whoa, okay. Let's see if we can do... I'm just going to close that door there. I might cast the firewall. Or is that lightning wall? Yeah, lightning wall. I'll use that. See how that goes. It's a bit tricky because I can't really see in there, so... Oh, do I have to open the door? Yeah, that's not... I don't know about that. <laughs> that might have been a bad idea. I've got a fireball scroll. Might use that. Okay, that took out two, did it? What else? Scroll of lightning, let's just use that, why not? That didn't do shit. I would say, after going through hell twice, I've actually done another playthrough of hell as the monk recently, that fireball and chain lightning should be your two go-to spells all right your respective lightning and fire spell 
for the magic spell. I actually found Berserk to be quite helpful. And I don't have that yet, but I will eventually get a book for it. That is actually very helpful on Hell, and even here, but I'll talk about that a bit later. We have a goat shrine here, so I'm going to save the game first before I get it. And you feel stronger. Let me just check what that does. Okay, so that's a good one. That gives me plus two to strength. Yeah, so I've got 29 strength now. Very good. Very happy about that. Yeah, you'll see Berserk in full effect in the crypt when I start venturing down there through the levels of the crypt. It is extremely handy. I have gained a lot of respect for that spell. But you'll see that once we get up to the crypt. And it's actually very helpful on hell as well. Okay, so here is the Halls of the Blind. This is it here. If you didn't read that tome, you wouldn't be able to... Like this door, it's not even a door, it's like a doorway. It would be blocked off, okay, until you read that tome. But we do have access to it. And there is the optic amulet. Wow, good. Yes, as you can see, a lot of these annoying... Well, they're called illusion weavers. The yellow ones that keep disappearing like that. There's quite a few of them in here, so you've just got to be a bit patient in taking care of them. I'm just going to run in and grab that amulet. Wow, come on. Where are you? Oh my god, okay. I'm just gonna go down here, open this door, because I know there's more in there, so. Yeah, you hit them once and they run off, disappear, then they come back. An amulet, another one. It's pretty good picking up amulets and rings, because they do tend to sell for quite a bit, and they only take up one slot in your inventory, which is good. So you can carry quite a few of them. Good way to rack up some gold. Okay, is that it, is it? That didn't seem like it. I'm pretty sure there's some more of these illusion weavers here. Maybe not. Alright, let's get out of here now. Barrels, one barrel. Let's go this way. Yeah, so the reason why you need a lightning spell, a fire spell, and a magic spell is because on Nightmare and Hell, I mean even here on Normal, but mainly on Hell, you're going to be finding quite a lot of enemies that are immune to this, immune to that. You know, some will be immune to fire, some will be immune to magic, some immune to lightning, some immune to all, in which case you will be using the Stone Curse spell on them, but we will worry about that a bit later. Here it's still... Still easy. No stress at all. Barely making any trips to and from town. Potion of mana. Is that it? And is that it for level 7? That was actually quite a short level. Let me just do a quick pan of the map. Yep, that looks like it. So we can head straight down to level 8. And of course, why am I walking? Where is my... That's right. Beautiful. Now before I head down there, one last pan of level 7. I've done the Halls of the Blind quest. I've explored everywhere. Okay, let's head down to level 8. 
the final level here in the catacombs. Mana shield, select, drink a mana potion, maybe another one. It's a shame I don't have a scroll of identify. I'm gonna have to wait till I go back to town and get Kane to identify those amulets. Okay, so we may, like I said, get the Tsar the Mad quest down here. Hopefully we do, because by completing that quest, we will net ourselves a spell book. It's a random spell book, but hopefully it's a good one. Ooh, we're facing these enemies here already. Normally I don't see them until the caves. The next level, level 9. Chest, and there's a shrine in there. I've leveled up. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Two to dexterity, three to magic. Got to get magic up a little bit more. Oops, I thought I could enter through there. <laughs> Here's the door here. So there's a shrine in there. Let's see if it's another good one. I've been pretty lucky with the shrines lately. Fascinating shrine. I don't like the sound of that one. Let me just consult my list of shrines here, guys. Yep, so this is a shit shrine. I lose 10% of my maximum mana, which is permanent. I also gain plus 2 to the Firebolt skill, but that's just stupid. You know, you lose 10% of your maximum mana just so you can gain plus 2 to the Firebolt spell, which isn't even that useful. I mean, it's okay here on the normal difficulty, but on Nightmare and Hell, it is a disgraceful spell. It does nothing, trust me. Ooh, some vicious enemies here. Mudmen and Bloodstones. These Mudmen look like the Butcher, don't they? Just a different coloured skin. Scroll of search, no. It's always really good as the monk when you just sort of face melee enemies. This is especially true on the Nightmare and Hell difficulties. Because the monk is the master of melee combat. You don't have to expend any mana, use any spells to take care of the enemies. The monk really sucks against ranged enemies. Enemies that cast spells. Liches, advocates, counselors, and so on. And I just picked up a scroll of identify, so I might use that on the optic amulet right now. Okay, so plus 20 to light radius, which is good, makes it a bit brighter, the screen. Resist lightning 20%, that's good. Minus 1 damage from enemies, plus 5 to, yeah, might as well. That gives me plus 7 to magic, but this one gives me some other benefits as well, so we might as well use that. And my lightning resist went up a bit. Very important to get your resistances up. So that you can take care of the spell caster type enemies a bit more effectively. You don't have to keep running around and healing every two seconds. Okay, which way do I want to go? Let's just go here first. I always love hearing that block sound of my staff when the enemies hit me. It's pretty good. Later on in the game though, you're going to find some enemies that have incredible attack speed and they tend to lock you in this, I don't know what you'd call it, maybe a block stun animation where you're just constantly blocking, you just keep hearing that ding sound of your staff over and over again and you can barely get an attack in. It is extremely annoying, but thankfully it's only on a few enemies in the game 
and if you're surrounded by like two or three of those sort of enemies, you can't do anything. You will be constantly just standing there in this blocking animation. You know, you'll just hear ding, 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 ding of your staff. You can't get a swing out. So in that case, it's, you know, best to usually use like a stone curse spell or some sort of lightning or fire spell. Okay, Mendicant Shrine, let's consult the list. So for this shrine it says it will take half your gold and convert it to experience. No. I need as much gold as I can get early on in the game here. So I'm going to have to pass up on that one. I think. Alright, so let's go down this way first. Haven't encountered Zar the Mad yet, which is a bit of a shame. Like I said, it's a pretty rare quest to get. I don't find myself getting it too often, but I'm usually very happy when I do get it. Ooh, Scroll of Chain Lightning, a very powerful spell. Probably the most powerful lightning spell in the game. If you're a sorcerer, you will be using that a hell of a lot, that's for sure. And even as the monk, I find myself using it quite a bit. Especially on the, mainly on the higher difficulties. Nightmare and Hell, not so much normal here. You can get away with just using the regular lightning spell. Dead end down here. And we'll go up this way. long hallway here and no enemies there Okay, and we will head down this way. Looks like a dead end as well. Nothing. Yeah, it gets pretty annoying having to cast search all the time. I tend to rely on that spell to see what's on the ground. I hate it when it becomes deactive and you've got to keep casting it. Sometimes, because if you just keep casting it like this over and over again, I think it stacks. So, if you cast it like 50 times in a row, it pretty much stays active throughout the whole time. Get down here on whatever level. And that's what I tend to do most of the time. Wow, this enemy. Okay, there we go. What the fuck? Where did the what the hell's going on? Where did those enemies... Did you see this shit? What happened there? It's like they just teleported. What's going on? Why the fuck am I getting surrounded? I'm gonna have to use a mana potion. I don't know what the hell happened there. Look at this. They're just sort of appearing right next to me. I'm gonna cast reflect, get that off, okay. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a risk when you're getting attacked like this by melee monsters and you go ahead and cast a spell, you're vulnerable to getting attacked. It's like your dexterity goes straight out the window. They usually get a hit in. When you're in the middle of casting, or even if you just sort of try and walk away like that, run away, you're very vulnerable. But if you just stand your ground like this and keep attacking, that's when your dexterity is in full force. Man, these enemies, why? They're acting like those damn hidden enemies. Teleporting in front of me, then running off after one hit or so. See? Okay, that one dropped a crown. There was a special sort of champion enemy there. One star, that's rubbish. Well, that was interesting. Bullshit. See, I can see these ones. They're not teleporting. 
strange. And they're not running away. They're just standing their ground and fighting me. Alright, so that looks like it goes yeah, down to level 9 already. I won't be venturing down to the caves. Levels 9 to 12. Next, I will be going through the hive after I've cleared out the catacombs here. I tend to have an order which I go through the levels in. I go through the dungeons first, then the catacombs, the hive, caves, then the crypt, and then hell. Alright, that looks like a bit of story there with that tone. We'll read that in a second. Just kill these enemies in the surrounding area. Let me just have a quick look around here. Any chests? That's level 9. Down to the caves. Okay, let's read this tome, The Sin War. Many demons travel to the mortal realm in search of the three brothers. These Fuck, I'm getting attacked. God damn it. Now let's read it. <laughs> Many demons travel to the mortal realm in search of the three brothers. These demons were followed to the mortal plane by angels who hunted them throughout the vast cities of the East. The angels allied themselves with a secretive order of mortal magi named the Herodrum, who quickly became adept at hunting demons. They also made many dark enemies in the underworlds. There you go. Please be... No, I was hoping it was going to be Zar the Mad in here. Wow, look at this. God damn, I'm just going to let a few of them come out, so I can get a few of them at once. Immune to magic and fire, see? So this is where you'd use like a lightning spell, and I have a lightning scroll, look at that, see? Killed like three or four of them in one hit. Pretty good spell, lightning. Not bad. Very good actually on normal. Even on nightmare and hell, it still has some use. Damn, how many are there? Look at them all. I don't have reflect, but I'm not I'm not casting it now in the middle of getting attacked like this because they'll just get a hit in on me. Like I said, when you're when you're in the middle of getting attacked by melee monsters and you cast a spell in the midst of it, they usually always get a hit in. Your dexterity goes straight out the window when you're in the middle of casting. And it looks like we just have a shrine here. What is it? Gloomy Shrine. Let's have a look. Alright, so the Gloomy Shrine, what it's saying here is it gives me plus two to armor class, to my equipped shield, helm, and armor, until next new game created, and minus one to my equipped weapons max damage. Well, I don't really give a shit about that, so... Fuck it, I'm not going to bother getting that one. I'd rather do a bit more damage. I don't want to lose damage. I can go without armor class as the monk, so that's fine. And I think that's pretty much it. We didn't get Zar the Mad. Just have a quick look around here in case there's any more chests or anything. Potion of full rejuvenation. Wow, that was a pretty short level too. Level 7 and 8 were quite short. So, let me just do a quick pan as per usual. Oh, hang on. Did I go through there? Yeah. Pretty sure I did. And that's all explored. Yeah, that's it. So, I'm going to go to town now. Sell all my shit, identify my shit, and 
get ready for the next video, which will be the hive. Hello, my I friend. love going through the hive. Stay a while and listen. So let's look at this guy. It's got to be better than this. Look at this. One to my armor class rating. Resist magic, 36%. We're putting that on and more armor class rating, which is good. Amulets, 12 to strength. No. Okay, let's sell stuff to Whoa, Griswold. What can I do for you? Sell the blacksmith oil, I don't care about that. Repair my items. Alright, and we will visit Adria now. Actually, I might take some more gold with me in case she has some very handy books for sale, more specifically the book of Bible, Berserk, anything like that. What's that? Can I read that yet? 51 magic. Almost. I sense a soul in search, search of, of answers. answers. What have I got to sell to her? Staff of Warp. Eh. You know what? I'm going to sell it because I'm pretty sure I'll get that spell sooner or later. I okay, sense what has she got for sale? Be something good. Show me some good books. Ooh, Book of Chain Lightning. Very, very good. But it's not really a priority here on normal difficulty, so... Like, if I was going through the game, this walkthrough, with the intention of going through Nightmare and Hell as well, I'd probably buy that book, the Book of Chain Lightning, and just put it on the ground here, when I could read it. So I need 54 magic to read that, can't even read it yet. But yeah, because I'm just going through normal, it's not really, you don't really need it. You can get away with just using lightning, that's fine. Even lightning you don't really need, you just need fireball, basically normal so yeah she doesn't have anything which sucks what about a scroll of mana shield damn oh there we go good <laughs> any more that sucks so what have I got let me just check my spells I need berserk I need a, a book for berserk I need a fireball book I don't even have lightning. And I need magic to read that. Damn. This is pretty messy. That's fine. The hive isn't too hard, so... Should be alright. Might not even need to use mana shield down in the hive. At least not for the first two levels. So let me just get sorted here, drop some gold, yeah it's a shame that they don't have a chest here in town <laughs> for Diablo 1, so you're going to see a lot of items like this on the ground as we go through the game. Okay so that's it for levels 7 and 8 guys, I will see you in the next video where we commence going through a hive. I'm out.